Oh yeah, it's night time. No idea. Could be nine. Could be. Actually, could be midnight. I can't find my phone, and we've no clock. Um, but I'll tell you what was happening to me there now a little bit, feeling a little bit flat, not knowing what to do, kind of mood could go either way, and I thought that's probably um a good time to get my hands dirty and start playing about with materials and stuff. Um, yeah. So I hope now that um. You can see okay and everything. And this jug is always inspiring. And uh, the flowers, of course, are always inspiring. And I love using collage. Actually, I just the thing that made me want to paint that in the first place, right, was that all my other acrylic paint is in the studio in Kakenzie. And this, I feel like half my head is off there. And these three colours, I thought, together, the only ones I could find in the living room there, in the box in the living room, I thought those three colours together might actually make the colour of that. So let's see, will we? That's my starting point. That's my jumping off jumping off point there is um finding those pots of paint and seeing that the jug might be the same colour as those. So let's see. The light isn't fantastic now, but sure it's okay. It's okay. We've had a Mamma Mia night. We watched uh Mamma Mia and um it was nice, like, it was nice, you know, myself and Lily and Erin just got pizzas, takeaway pizzas and cookies, and uh, it was nice, but to be honest, we were all a little bit grumpy. Maisie was a bit kind of annoying to me, and everyone was dealing with her differently, and God help her, she's okay, you know, I mean, she ended up lying nice and quiet on the floor beside us, and it was fine. I'm just having a look. Gosh, this worktop is sticky. Just having a look at the um, bits and pieces that are around here. That's it's collage there. That's actually a nice orange colour. That that orangey painted paper might be quite a nice thing to describe the Montbrisha there. It's all a bit of a tumble, a tumble of flowers. Now this this has been sitting in the studio for about a week, and I don't know how it's still surviving. But it's probably because it's so cold out there. Oh, there. The floor is falling off now that it's indoors. Anyway, right, so what about making a start? And the other thing is we've got the heating. We've had the heating on and it's still really warm and kind of slightly hot and bothered. <laughs> slightly hot and bothered is what I am. So we'll see how that's going to transpire into this lovely piece of art. And that sticky worktop is annoying me. It's like right where my hand is. Mm. Okay, that's better. Right. Here goes. Oh. I think I'll start with the paint. Still sticky. <laughs> I'm starting with paint, and again, like uh, the other day, I've not got any water. I'm in the kitchen. I could get water, but I'm going to again kind of restrict myself to just um, not having loads of. Well, I'm just not going to bother making getting water because I think it would make it more a painting, and I want it to be more. Oh, for goodness sake. I want it to be more mixed media than a painting alone. And I guess most of the time it ends up mixed media anyway, doesn't it? You can sense the um, slight passive aggressive frustration at things not being. Okay, I'm just going to take the cover off that. Okay, there we go. I might actually use a traditional brush. What do those two colours look like? That's, you see already now I'm getting kind of interested in this. But I think what I'm going to do, because I put out so much paint, I'm going to take this off. And this here is my palette now. That's my palette. And then I can select... Um, 
much paint I'm gonna put on. I kinda like the um before the white went in, I like how it is just on the white paper alone. Well that's feeling quite fun. Okay. That's the jug sorted. I better put that in water, hadn't I? Because that's going to end up wrecking the brush more than it already is wrecked. And as soon as... Um, I was going to see there as soon as I start painting, it could be the continuing painting. But um, I don't really have any colours for the rest of that, so I'll just use... Um, I don't have any paint like for the rest of it, I just have paint and stuff. See what will happen if I put in Indian ink. Pretty dark. It'd be like that, like. But you see in there, where the jug meets the flowers, it is quite dark there. And I think in order for the lights to read as light, we need some dark. We need some dark. For some reason, my friend Hilary's quote comes to me, into every light, life a little rain must fall. <laughs> so there's the dark, there's the rain falling now. I was doing okay until I started quoting it, and it sounded a bit silly. Well, not sounded silly, but as soon as I did that, um, I started looking silly. It's all right. Now I've just made it very wet, so I need to get a paper towel. I suppose I should run the mic again. I don't know if you heard any of that, no harm if you didn't, to be honest. I was just kind of wondering why, um, what I was talking about there, I'm not sure what I was talking about. Nobody told me there was days like these, strange days indeed. Peculiar, Mama. Actually, I'm quite kind of liking that heart there. It looks a little bit like the Mombrisha firing off to the left, so let me just inject that in there. I can do whatever I want, it's my picture. This is been watching an album movie. I'm watching Mamma Mia, you'll be singing it for days after. Could be worse, I suppose. What a day. <laughs> wonder why that's the song that stuck with me. Maybe it was just the, that's the last one played, that's all. Just because it's the last one played. I'm going to leave the whole shebang in there. I'll just leave all of that green there. Will I? I won't actually, because the, that's annoying me at the end. I want it to be thinner here, ready for the purple, purple pastel flowers, maybe. I'm quite enjoying this, actually. It's good medicine, good medicine. I'm irritated. And the soul is irritated. <laughs> actually, when there's anything going on. No harm. Um, a bit of sticky, messy play. There's the other Montbrichian on my stick out that way. I kind of like these pictures where the things fly off the edge. It feels to me a like, bit like flowers are. Um, the flowers kind of fly off the edge anyway. They're a little bit otherworldly, aren't they? Flowers. that one there even though it's not there okay and there's some green that kind of extends below the edge of the jug as well she can't see a thing there really what about if i was to do this does that does that feel better <laughs> no oh for goodness sake where is the camera there okay 
Now, if you tuned in yesterday, you know that the um, stand broke. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to let you see the painting rather than the still life. Because I think it's either one or the other, is it? Or can you see both? You can kind of see both there. Yeah, every so often I'll um, hold it up a wee bit. Okay, All right, what am I doing next now? Um, dark green oil pastel might work for with my other, my non-dominant hand. I just start drawing and see what happens there. Now that's annoying, isn't it, when you're on the other side and it's my non-dominant hand I'm using. So, um, but I know that you don't mind, do you? You'll be like, oh yeah, just carry on. Do whatever you want to do. And uh, thanks for that attitude of um, allowing me to do whatever I want. Great. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're okay. We're managing all right. Just got a little bit. mildly annoyed with each other and everyone went their separate ways. Right. I guess that's what happens, isn't it? Sometimes. And actually, the people you can get mildly annoyed with. You'd imagine them. Um, it must uh, mean that you feel secure enough in the relationship that you can. Looking a bit deep. Right, so the oil pastel is behaving as the, the shadow there. And I thought maybe the white oh I've got I've got white paint out here still. I use some cleaner I use a cleaner brush and I pick up some of that white paint. I haven't got blue in it yet. And I'm just gonna find some edges. So the handle of the jug there. You know, it's been raining all day today. I had a very wet walk with Maisie. Just one. She wasn't acting as though she wanted to go out too much, but you know the way now. It's important really that she gets out. Um, just a bit of background coming in there. Might even do some here. To get the feeling of the spaces between the leaves there. And I'd say it's about time, isn't it, that I put in some purple or something to indicate those purple flowers. I'm still not very happy with your viewpoint here. Let's see, you're thinking, for God's sake, would you just stop chucking us about the place and get on with the job in hand here? I want you to see why I put that heart in. Do you think that that thing there is not unlike the heart somehow shooting off? I don't know why it gave me that feeling. Right, I'm going to leave you now in that position. That's it. You're not moving after this. Okay. And I just hope that I'm not going to get in your way. Right. So I want something darker before putting the purple in. Before putting the purple in, I'm going to put in a dark green color. Imagine if the spray actually started working now. It wouldn't. You know, this is the one that um, it wouldn't work anyway because this is the one that I spilled the other day in the studio, so there's hardly any left. There's a nice green stain now on my lovely ferny tablecloth in the studio. You know, what's lovely is making marks. That's what's lovely, making marks. and making marks that are a little bit surprising. And there's some kind of glue on the surface here now. It's actually uh, making the, it's making this thing, gosh, I'm so lazy, even my words aren't really coming out right. But it's making this um, <laughs> tube thing um, 
make a nicer line, isn't it? It's kind of thinner, the line. I don't know, there's something kind of nice about it. It's different, like it's, it's got a different consistency here and there. Now, what about over here? Maybe a little bit there as well. And here, I like this green color. It works with the Indian ink, I think. Um, and you know that Montbrisha, this the stem of the Montbrisha is all kind of um, got like buds on it and stuff, so it looks a bit like um, like this. Let me show you what I think it looks like. Just got you know those bits that um, stick out either side every so often until you reach the orange flower at the top might be like a National Geographic forest fire image there. You know, I've been doing crochet in those colours. The leaves are so gorgeous at the moment. That's neither here nor there. So there's the um, the forest fire at the top there represents that one. Ta -da! There we are. Exactly like it. And I could always put some in with this flame orange on it as well. Maybe to make it read a little bit more like a Mambrisha and less like a forest fire. I'm not sure that worked by the way. I'm enjoying having the similar uh, colour for all the three because they've all been made with different um, collage pieces. This is painted paper already from a, an orange painting I made in the studio before. Oh, look at that, it tore off. I think it wants to come off that but so that I can do it in some different way. What different way could I do that? Like that, or I could put it there or up there. I don't want to put it up there because there actually isn't one up there and it bothers me when there's things where they're not. So I'll put it there. You can see one peeping out. I'm going to use a different orange for that peepy out one. There we are. I'm going to use that over here too. This isn't um that this is stupid or something. There's an interesting thing that came in there. Critical voice. So I'm using a bit of oil pastel now to describe a bit more again the shape of the jug and again using my non-dominant hand so that you can see what I'm doing. No, I'm doing using my non-dominant hand so that um, it's got a bit more of an organic kind of a line that I'm not fully in control of. Like really, the thing I would probably um, change here would be to have a, um, an easel and the flowers and you behind me so that you could see. I told you I wasn't going to change you again, didn't I? But I want to, I want to look at you as I'm talking to you there. So the thing that might be quite good is to have like the flowers standing up like that you know like an like an easel I could even maybe do that couldn't I and then you could see the flowers and you could see the painting if I was to lean that against something um, it might be quite nice actually to do that soon because then it can inject the purples while you're able to see it I could even just hold it like yeah, maybe that'll work. Gosh, it's all very shiny, isn't it? And um, the only thing is, it's gonna have like it's gonna flop. Honest to God, what a mess. Um, if I'm gonna have it there, I have to move everything. Do I? No, I don't. I can just lift it up every so often and find the color I want. The colour I want just now is that, isn't that? That's a good one. 
and I can use my non-dominant hand to describe these little flowers that are that colour. Yeah, so it was it was kind of a planned Mamma Mia night, and I think everybody was sitting down and watching the film because we felt that we should, having decided. I don't know if anyone was really fully into it, to be honest. God, I'm going to let those pages fall over. Oh, I'm annoying myself here. Right, so there's the blue oil pastel. Now, I often find that this works for some reason to describe those purple flowers, even though they're not this colour. It seems to work with the purple to make them more, doesn't it? You know, I think even looking at it there now reminds me of the, you know, it's got a good um, correlation or something. Okay. And I'll go back to the purples too, though. There's some great purples in this set here. White. The other side of the jug handle there. Oh, the leaves. And then there's these Livingston daisies that live on. They've been going on for ages, those daisies. These particular two like have been sitting in this vase now for over a week, well over a week. And they seem to be managing fine. I just bought them in from the studio today, as I said, so maybe it's because they've been cold and they've lasted longer. So they do now. I think I might need to make up um, the tabletop. That's a little bit livelier, isn't it? No, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm sick of holding this up. Come on, shakers. Right into the bin. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was now. The, the bin is open, of course, so it's gone flying into it. I need to go through the... I need to go through the rubbish and find whatever it was. Okay, so I was talking about um, having a tabletop. And I like this. I think this would work to describe the... Um, to describe the tabletop there. The worktop. Sainsbury's glue sticks, let's see how they work. No, so the tabletop is kind of here. I might even give myself a little indication of it. Da, 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 there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can see it. How about that for a tablecloth? A bit more inspiring anyway than the black for mica or whatever that stuff is. I'm showing my age now for mica is maybe the table that was um in in my house growing up rather than here. This is probably a new I don't know, reconstituted stuff which probably is well for my kids as well. I remember having a, we had a Formica tabletop in our kitchen. I love that. I loved it. It had like swirls, black swirls on white. That was really nice. I suppose it was a kind of, um, it represented food and belonging, I suppose. Just 
to love my food. I think that's okay. I'm kind of surrounding the shape of the. Can you go back to the tabletop again now? I mean, the, go back to the jug again. What about that? of um, fell tips today because I just like playing with, with them you know when I go into bed at night time one of the things that I practice is a gratitude gratitude journal my sister Eileen got us to do one for a kind of self care thing I was doing with her online but what she suggested was for one of the gratitude things on your list to draw it so like I've drawn GLaDOS Reservoir 40 or 50 times I'd say and the sun again features a lot sun on water that features a lot in my gratitude list so when I say when I say gratitude list now like what I mean is I write out all the things that I was delighted with during the day it really helps actually to end the day on a bit of a high and um write out all the things I was delighted with and then choose one of them to draw or maybe actually you know I've got I've got it here one of them one of my journals let's see oh yeah so there's <laughs> there's a bit of swimming that was the day I went swimming in the sea first and there was trees and stuff on the way because that's Yellow Craig's beach and then I went swimming in the in the loch sorry that's the, the sea swim running in with my flowery swimsuit swimming in the lock and then sitting in the sun shining in the studio door and just being delighted because I had my food and my book and everything I don't know what's happening there anyway that's the idea so every day there's a few little things drawn like there's the writing and then a few things drawn that's it yeah there was one from a, a day dancing in the glen <laughs> I just felt the whirling green of the... I don't know why I'm showing you all that. But look what I got the other day in, in the post. Ta-da! Now that should say the artist's way. Why is it back the front? It's the artist's way. It's a new edition of it. And then um, so it says 12 weeks. I've started doing the morning pages, which is one of the things that she recommends in that. Morning pages is um, three three full step pages of stream of consciousness as soon as you wake up I haven't done it as soon as I've woken up to be honest I usually end up feeding the cats first or doing various things maybe halfway through like the other day I washed Lily's hair halfway through and um, got back to it but in general I try and do it you know in a, in a, in a one or and actually it's quite good because it gets all this stuff the detritus in your mind onto the paper early on in the day and you end up um, having a maybe a clearer head a more spacious feeling early on in the day but don't take my word for it a lot of people say right stop it on you honestly okay hmm. just put in some more greenery And then there's this fierce bright green. Would that work there? For that thing sticking down? I think that works there. Okay. Just guess I'm still trying to be tidy with these pastels. See, they've still survived. Um. What do I want to do now? I think I want some like different thing for the purples. I know, I could get the purple from my other set, pens. And what I could do is draw um well, colour in the purple on some white paper. 
this. I'm just gonna see how long have you got? I'll be here all night with this one. It's kind of nice, isn't it? That green. I was going to suggest with the purple is to get a white bit of paper. And maybe look, I could even just colour in there. So that's one purple. You see, that paper isn't very white. I need it to be really properly white. Let me see now. What white paper have I got? That's quite white, isn't it? So there's one kind of purple. There's a darker purple I might use somewhere. And then there's a kind of pinkish colour there. I put Maisie out in the hall because she was chewing boxes and things. Sounds like she might need to go to the toilet now, so what's up with you? I suppose I shouldn't respond when she squeals like that, but she might need a pee. Do you need to go for a pee? Is that what you need, Maisie? Right, I'm going to sit down and settle down here again. Do the pee. She doesn't really want to go out in the wet. But I certainly don't want her doing a pee right there at the door, so I'll take her in a second now. Did you see that? I like that. I don't know if you can see or not, for God's sake. What I was saying that I liked was the bit of pen torn off and stuck on. as the um, purple flower there, the Livingston Daisy. Do you want to go for a pee, Maisie? Do you want to go for a pee? Come on, let's go. I'm just going to let her out there. Come on, Maisie. Just going to go for a pee in the garden. I'm just going to leave the door open. A bit of fresh air anyway. And there's Maisie, look. Where are you? Here. I'm showing you the state of the kitchen. There's Maisie. There's Maisie. There she is. Right, I'll just stabilise you again there. Okay, so I was talking about having stuck on that. I quite like that carry on. It just gives it, um, it lifts the flowers a little bit here. There she's going out now. And she's good really, she doesn't pee in the house anymore now. Which is what you'd expect from a one year old dog, isn't it? But you know, small blessings. And yeah, I'm just gonna use the pastel now. It was one that was very good. I suppose it's mostly this blue one that's really good, isn't it? Is that blue? No. Where's the blue pastel gone? Are you still there, guys? Are you hanging in there with me? <laughs> I'd be surprised. Now I might be on my own talking to myself here, I'd say. Or some unsuspecting newbie might be like, oh, I wonder what this is about. Mm. But actually, to be honest with you, this is very freeing. This just plastering stuff on and you know there's you can tell that the, there's not exactly a kind of an attitude of skillfulness here it's more an attitude of uh, playfulness I suppose which um, I rate very highly because through experience um, it seems to be uh, a vital ingredient in any sort of creative pursuit really and it's where I feel happiest. Maybe why don't you just go out? She's like she's standing there considering whether whether she wants to pee or not. I wonder is that too similar to the colour of the leaves there? I don't like the edge of that. I just put some more of that um, gel colour on there.
actually in shadow anyway that's it that's okay just to clean them on my pajamas that's a good good blue I'm gonna go for a tea maybe I could probably stop, couldn't I? I'm gonna go all over the place, but I don't seem to be um, making more order, am I? I think I'm probably bringing in with each mark equal amounts of order in chaos. We need something. We need this blue for those flowers. This is ultramarine blue ink. Just straighten up there. There's a leaf sticking out the top. Okay, so the ultramarine blue ink. Remember I was saying yesterday, would, would I go for a swim? And you know, I did end up going to the reservoir for a swim. Any of you who tuned in yesterday. And I had the most glorious swim there in the morning. It was a very different day to today, wasn't it? If you're in Scotland, you'll know what I mean. Yesterday was sunny and calm and beautiful. And there was like a ray of sunshine shining. Well, actually, the whole the whole sun was casting its golden light on the water. And it was as, um, it was as kind of still as a mirror would be almost the water. And I was the only one there and in I went. And um, it, was, it was very beautiful, very beautiful sun shining on my body, which at this time of year feels quite invigorating and new and still warm though, still warm and still um, still felt magical. I think I might keep it up over the winter time, you know. I think I might keep it up over the winter. It was a real pull to go in often. I thought when I, do, when I put in this um, blue ink, then after that I might end up um, going back with the purple then, you know. Either the collage bits of purple or the chalk or whatever. Isn't that nice there, look? I like that. I wonder would that go with the swirly thing I was doing with my thumb. Maisie, are you chasing midnight? Tomorrow I go. Tomorrow I go. Hey, stop it. She, she thinks it's like a Margo's a toy or something. Margo's kind of interested enough to stay. What are you doing? Maisie? I think Maisie's really wanting to kind of just uh, <laughs> grab her Maisie. Hey, come here. She doesn't know whether she wants to eat her or play with her. That's my impression. So I think it might be better to just let Margot be the one approaching Maisie rather than Maisie approaching Margot. Maisie, for fuck's sake, she's so kind of interested in her. Maisie's going to, Margot's going into the cupboard there now, so don't worry. I was adding these bits in here because I thought they looked kind of nice with the thumbprint things I was doing earlier. And maybe a bit over this side. It's like a singing kettle or something. I don't like that. But I want to cover that green. Do you know what I mean? Like a singing kettle because the it was like as though they were all spouting out that way. So I think it's better turn that way now. And I 
put in one more piece. Yeah, I may as well put it there. That's the end of that. I thought I could maybe find the same colour that I used. Where was it? What was that colour now? It's kind of like a greenish there. I think that's it. Because it might it might work too on this side. Do just a little bit of that, carry on. And I'm gonna take a bit of that off there and put it there. Maybe even a bit more. swingy swingy stools I'm gonna kill myself off them. Okay, so I was gonna continue continue putting some colour into those purple flowers. With the chalk and maybe with the torn paper as well. Maybe you just need to stop being so interested in her. Part of me feels like I'm disturbing their friendship, but the other part of me, and I can imagine maybe annual animal behaviorists watching might be saying, no, the other part is the part to listen to. Do not let the dogs play with the cat. Okay, Maisie, you need to stop that. Stop that. Okay. The thing is, Margaret doesn't even walk away from her. Oh, right. She is now, though. Look. Maisie. Okay. Sorry, guys, this is going on forever. I think I'm going to stop with that. I'm going to stop with that, I'd say. It's a bit of a riot, isn't it? I had this blue in my hand to do a bit more with that blue. Okay, so Maisie, come here. Good girl. All right, so here's Maisie. Where are you? Up, Maisie, up. Up. Thank you. Slightly excitable, maybe at the moment. And I wanted to show you the end of that picture too. Or at least how far it's got. So that's it there. And that's it there. Off, oh, Maisie. Yeah, Margo's starting to hit back there now. Okay. So uh, if you did. Bear with me. Thank you. I'll give myself a wash. You can see there's quite a bit of um yeah, quite I won't be drawing attention to it, but dirty dishes in the background there. Um thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe at the start of the day tomorrow rather than this late uh, in the evening. Okay. But you know it's really nice actually, getting dirty. And um using paint for a change. I was going out my paint from the studio in Kikenzie. Um that's all the new stuff um, that I have. And thanks for being there. See you tomorrow. Bye.